Tis my game. <laughs> um, anyway, I will just show you like a little bit of the menu real quick. Uh, we've got an options menu with just a sound slider. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I hate me too, man. Um, okay, so we've got that. We've got controls. Custom control map made by my beautiful lead artist. Uh, you know, there's, 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 there's this. <laughs> I'm just kind of like, ha! <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so basically, WASD, E to pick up item, F is flashlight, C to crouch, flashlight, um, you know, and then you look around and shit with the, the map. Uh, C to crouch. Shut up, Muffet! Shut the fuck up. We can. I could literally do take three seconds and make this shit control if we wanted to. But like, <laughs> but like, you know. Um, and then we go back, and uh, then you have quit, obviously, which fucking quits the game. Um, but without further ado, um, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so fucking scared. I'm just gonna turn that volume a little bit down. Uh, maybe like, maybe like here. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo and shit! Okay, here we go, guys. You fucking ready? I'm scared. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> that was such bad timing on the troll -a lol <laughs> Okay. So welcome, welcome to my game. Um, <laughs> I hate it here, <laughs> I hate it here. Um, I, I'm literally so bad at showing this right now. This is good practice actually. So that was the cinematic intro. You basically wake up, the back, like the, the basically the idea of, of this game is that you are in a hospital, you wake up in a hospital, there's supposed to be like, obviously this message that plays on the, the TV saying that there's a pandemic outside and you are safe inside this hospital. Um, and, uh, <laughs> you know, like nothing to be afraid of everybody. Um, and notes, yes, notes is basically the big gameplay mechanic that determines the outcome at the end. Uh, you have to basically get a certain amount to make different cinematics happen or not get a certain uh, amount to have different cinematics happen. We have the flashlight, love a flashlight and a flashlight sound. And, do you see the duration of the flashlight bar going down, motherfuckers? That's right, there's another mechanic where you have to pick up fucking batteries to keep your fucking flashlight going. <gasps> Woo! Okay, so, I'm just gonna kind of play this like I kind of know it. Um, so, you have this. We have notes. This is your first note. Blurs the fucking background. And then, <clears throat> I will guess I'll do voice acting for the patient. I heard there was a pandemic going on outside. I'm supposed to take my medicine to build up immunity so that we can go one day back into the world. <gasps> However, where did everyone go? And then fucking note disappears and you add one to the counter. So bada bing, bada boom. So uh, again, models and art all done by my amazing art team. Yes, it's supposed to be this dark. Um, and here's a, here's <laughs> a giant fucking battery to let you know it adds to the counter above, bitch. Okay, sorry. I'm like geeking out over my own fucking game. But yeah, you can walk around. Um, again, all the props and everything was made by my, my amazing art team. Um, and so now you enter into the first patient ward. Um, how spoopy and ominous. That's one big vibrant. I hate you, Metallic. I hate you, Metallic. Um, what's up, Dabbler, by the way? I didn't say, I didn't say. Hi to you. Uh, hey, don't laugh at that. You know how annoying it is to add stuff like that in the games. I know, Andy. Good thing it's just a flat. Anyway, so, you, you know, you think you would go, like, straight out and everything. But I will show you a little, little fucking hidden thing. You gotta come over here. Gotta come over here and get another note. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, and then, how did it get so dark in this hospital? Am I alone? Anyway, some of these notes are filler, but it's supposed to also count to the end, obviously. It's a flip. Okay. Did you guys bake lighting? I did. The problem is we had a little problem with some of the lighting, but that's it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> did you hear that? You hear that fucking sound effect? <laughs> I hate it here. 
I hate me too, bro. Anyway, um, but yeah, so then you've got another fucking battery. Look at that. Add into the, add into it. Um, I, I'm trying to actually remember where all my notes are. <laughs> Go in here. You know? Oh, look, there's another note. And I also don't understand what the fucking lighting happened was. Um, I'm thankful the doctors have been helping us and protecting us from the outside world. Hopefully one day I'll be able to see my family again. The doctors tell me my brother and parents are in another hospital. I'm grateful there's good people in the world like these doctors and nurses. But are they? Anyway, um, but what was sounded, uh, you dropped all your pills. I mean, it sound, well, that's actually like what I tried to make the sound effect for was like, maybe there's like, you know, someone dropped pills in the background. Like you, you're on edge thinking there's someone or something going to pop up at any time. Um, Anyway, yeah, we'll leave that battery there. Might need it. Might need it. Might need it. Uh, you know, come check into another one. I forgot where I put this sound effect. <laughs> I hate me. Oh, look, another note. I'm glad the doctors have been helping us build immunity. Still, the medicine they give us have made me really tired. They told me that it's just a light side effect, though. I hope to get my energy back soon. Fucking lie. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, and then I'll see if you didn't turn on your flashlight, you wouldn't see that there's a battery there. Again, you have to be paying attention to many a detail in this this game. Um, is something going to pop up? You never know. And then the crouch feature, I'll just show you the crouch feature. It's like, aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh. look, we crouching. And now we're standing. And now we're crouching. Now we're standing. I, I could have slowed the crouch, you know, so it's kind of like an easier, like, you know, like, uh, instead of a bop, bop. But, you know, it was what we had time for. Again, we also had a time thing, too. Um, you know, there's there's this room. Looking around, right? Some of the rooms are false rooms. You you know, that doesn't have something in it necessarily. So you got to keep looking. Oh, look. There's a little battery moment down there. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where I put the last. There it is. <laughs> my own sound effects made me die like i'm not gonna lie to you my own fucking sound effects made me die all right so there's that that's the first fucking level now oh shit we go down the stairs da -da 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 -da. <laughs> um and there's another battery you know right next to the stairs but i don't need that yet so now we come into the um so we were in the patient ward to start out now we're in the administrative ward um, so there's scattered papers on the ground, um, and, you know, this is where, kind of like the doctors and, I mean, not, not administrative ward, this is the doctors and nurse wing, where they come down here, kind of fill up prescriptions, you know, um, you know, do some typing, <laughs> uh, whatnot, um, you come over here, there's a stethoscope, I also want to just kind of, like, highlight a lot of the, uh, the models and art, again, completely done by my art team, um, and then a note, Note. So this is like a note from a doctor or a nurse. Uh, need to prescribe a higher dosage to rowdier patients. Lock files away in administrative ward and keep patients away from morgue. Um, so, you know, just little little details like that. Again, desks were made completely by my art team. The entire tiling of the floor. My art team, um, I had to purposefully tile them manually myself, though. Again, some things I just had to do nitty gritty. Um, can we go see dead bodies? <laughs> Rex, that's that's you, what you can do in your own spare time, sweetie. Um, such little time you guys had so far. Like, remember also, I was working on this and also still streaming constantly, twice a week, sometimes more. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I have been nonstop. Um, I think there's, yeah, there's another one. Patient 32 notes. Number 32 has been asking more and more questions lately look about why. Oh, Marlin! Yo, Marlin! Thank you so much for the follow. Um, has been asking more and more questions lately about why there's no windows. They also continue to ask about the side effects of the medication. I'm pretty sure we'll have to move them to the third floor soon. Which you start on the fifth floor. Um, right now we're on the fourth floor. I got you, my friend. Marlin, how have you been? How have you been, my dear? Um, and I appreciate it. Guys, by the way. I think as of In the Water following and Marlin following, 
We are 15 away from 700 followers today. Uh, it would be dope if we could do that today on the day of the release of my game, but like still. I, again, it's just fucking dope to have you people here. Um, so, uh, yeah, is there another? Yeah, that's another battery. Look at that. Look at that fucking scattering batteries about. Um, I think, yeah, there's another note in the corner here. Again, you have to pay attention to stuff, guys. <clears throat> I've been a nurse here for a year now. It's amazing what the patients still don't know. Sometimes I feel like we shouldn't be doing this to them. But then again, the money is good, and we know how to keep them quiet. Anyway, I wrote all the story, by the way. <laughs> so it has a lot of lo odd flair going on, you know what I mean? More flickery lights. You love to see flickery lights, you know what I mean? Um, and now... My favorite floor. The morgue. <laughs> Um, so this one, I think I may jump at my own sounds. I apologize, but here we are. Uh, no windows because it used to be a casino. No clocks either. I mean, they removed all the windows and such, but you'll see how the, the, the story evolves. Don't you apologize for any of this, Metallic. I appreciate you still being on my side. Um, uh, dropping it low. Bitch, drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's... You can't really tell with all the... It's dark in here, but anyway. Um... I have been good, been really busy. I can tell, Marlon. I know you're kicking ass and shit like that. You're just living your damn life. I hear you. I hear you. But it's great to see you here. Um, and yes, we're doing big things. Welcome in. We have seven notes on the board. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember. Okay, so. Oh, look. A battery. That I'll probably need. What is this over here? Also, we have dynamic sound. Um, so that if you, you know, go over to the sound and look around, it'll sound like it's coming, like, you know, from behind you or wherever, uh, that you turn. So that was actually an added thing we put in too. So we've got the morgue, you know, the, the cabinets for the bodies. Um, we also have like the, you know, the gurney body table, um, you know, uh, and then we come on over here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and also, we don't have the sounds double over, so if you leave the area and you come back over, like, it doesn't do it again. It doesn't trigger twice, which is good, because you don't want to just keep going, oh, 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 you know what I mean? Um, that table need to keep your fucking voice down before it gets smacked. <laughs> Sounds like me when I wake up. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you uh, for your added commentary. you love to see it. Ready to judge? Bushy, get out. <laughs> Bushy, get out. So far, it's dope giving me big Outlast vibes. Oh, that is a compliment and a half. Thank you so much, Tay. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. They do be right about no windows. Impressive how you managed to do this along with streaming and life in the short time. Yeah. Streaming, I also work out every day just about. Um, I do three days on, one off. And have a social life and stream and made this game. And have two other classes, by the way. So a bitch is working constantly. I need the crackhead energy to be able to do any of this. Um... Okay, so this is the eighth note. Patient 32, you probably saw, again, if you were paying attention, patient 32 note was right above in the administrative ward. Ward they were talking about because the patient 32 was getting too like curious about what was going on. So patient 32 deceased, time of death 3 a.m. Cause extreme medication increase, reason not available. So anyway, that's that note. Do I have any more jump things? Aha! I had another one over here. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me go back also uh, and grab, uh, you know, a little, little, little fucking battery because we're, you know, we're dropping low. Um, I will tell you guys, I have a total of 15 notes in the whole, um, in the whole place, as well as I have 20 batteries, I think. And it's been, I had a couple people play it and that was probably like good in terms of like, you know, um amount uh and frequency of being able to see that so you know um do i have anything in here bitch i do not remember if i have anything in here <laughs> do i have anything in here aha i have a battery back here man i literally am bamboozling myself <laughs> okay um so now we're in the administrative ward it's gotten emptier and emptier as the the levels go if you kind of like tell because like it's you know feeling emptier and more isolated and all of that bullshit and there's a note right here. 
Today's local news, and fuck, I forgot to put this shit. God damn it! Now you see one of the bugs. Welcome to my bullshit, damn it. But it's like sunny day with no clouds in the sky, warm temperatures and nice breeze. It basically says like a great day to go outside and enjoy, you know, the time. So that's what's to show like that's the local news, um, that everything is fine outside. Um, so you're like, what the fuck? Why, why is everything fine outside? What's going on with the doctors and nurses? Why are they being, you know, more corrupt and shit? Um, you know, uh, and you come over here. There's another note. Patient 36. After number 36 woke up, patient experienced amnesia. So this is where you start to learn that you're patient 36 and what happened to you. Locked personal files away so the patient is still unaware of their identity because you woke up with amnesia. Um, exploring possibilities to make amnesia permanent. Otherwise, morgue level will be their only true way out. So, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, so you get to find your file, basically, and what happened to you is in that note. Um, fucking get another battery. Give me that battery! Okay. Um, also, I have 10 notes. I'm trying to remember if I got all of them, but we'll see. Um, we come over here. Patient 36 information. Journalist that was clearly hired to investigate our operations here. Gave them enough medication to induce a coma. Created positive results ending in amnesia. Will continue to treat patient like the others. This is where it explains you in thorough, kind of like your backstory is through this note. Um, only if the patients could see that great weather outside. <laughs> I mean, those were, that was supposed to be like a confiscated like newspaper. You know, because um, the local news keeps getting delivered to this hospital, but obviously they don't show their patients. Um, coming down to here, this is the last level. So we started on the top. Ruth, welcome in, my dear. Welcome in. Um, the top floor. I'm just showing off my game, by the way, Ruth. So we're kind of towards the end of the game, um, but I will probably play it back again to show you guys the different cinematic um, outros. And Ruth, thank you for the host. I appreciate you. How are you doing, my dear? Welcome in, welcome in. Um, and so... Um, so the top floor was the patient ward where you start. Fourth floor we touched, and that was the um, the doctor and patient, a uh, doctor and nurse wing. Uh, third floor was the morgue floor, as you guys saw. That's kind of like my jump jump scare level. And then, um, well, actually, it's fifth, fourth, third, second floor we just left, which was the administrative ward where all of the files and uh, patient information is kept. Now we're in the basement um, of the hospital. And it's kind of, I made the basement just to be like a very simple maze, um, you know. So you come over here, you're like, ooh, battery. Let's keep going. Oh wait, oh wait, oh shit. I can't get. Uh, 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 no. Uh, no. Uh, no, uh, uh, no, you can't get through. Oh uh, no. Okay, so we have to go back this way. And oh looky loo, there's a note here. Somewhere around these boxes in this basement is the way out. I hope I brought enough batteries with me. Maybe I can find some down here in the darkness. So just in case you fucked up on batteries and you're pretty low on your flashlight, I left one obviously over there that I just picked up, but there's more in here that you need to be strategic about. Um, so we keep looking over here, keep looking over here. Oh shit, there's another note. <clears throat> this is now speaking from the janitor. <laughs> Being a janitor here has been a very confusing experience. I can only enter through the basement exit door and so th that basically shows you where your escape is too inside the note. Um, and am not allowed further up. I wonder what they're doing up there. Oh, well, the money is good. <laughs> also, I sort of touch on capitalism in this game. <laughs> just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. But anyways. Uh, yeah, I saw your thing on Twitter. Wanted to pop in at least for a minute. No problem, Ruth. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, let's see. If we walk over here. Yeah, no, it's like, wow. Wow. Oh, shit. Look, another battery. Conveniently placed. Um, you know, we walk. We walk. Th there's boxes. And things and oh shit oh no oh no it's a dead oh no it's a dead end so we go back so we go back and then we walk around here oh wow oh super oh oh wow I need to get rid of that that sucks anyway like, <laughs> again play tested enough and there's always gonna be some bugs that's why I'm not fucking um you know publishing it gotta go hope the stream is popping thank you John appreciate you for stopping by I'll catch up with you later um look another note another note um 
Today I took a peek upstairs, and I really wish I didn't. I sent in my resignation today and came up with a crazy excuse to get out. I will be moving out of this town and with my family alive. So that's all still from the janitor, you know, still the janitor is like, holy fucking shit. I saw that this operations of this place is fucking crazy. Please, please don't. And then here's the last note. <laughs> that literally just says, janitor was sent to the morgue room. <laughs> because they found him and, and, and got him. 10 out of 10, this walkthrough is fire. Thank you, Sifu. Y'all don't have to kiss my ass. I know there's a lot of things I can make better and all of that. And wow, with my battery about to go out, let's get the fuck out of here. So this cinematic basically shows like, it's just a very quick cinematic at the end to show like you escaped. You can finally see outside and it's like a nice sun sunset and everything. So it's very quick, um, you know, little short cinematics. Again, we couldn't do full on things where there's music and animation and all of that. But that's basically uh, my game. <laughs> um, and this is the outro screen. We have credits. So I want to be able to do that. Credits. Here is everybody that worked on the game. Um, and <laughs> hype, hype, we're free. I know, I know. Uh, so that was, that was, again, just demo. It's, you know, very kind of simple um, and, and to the point. But, like, it's a full game uh, with much lots of different dynamics and a uh, full story that I kind of had to yeet in there with the time. Again, this was a very time limited project um, and to stay sane and be able to make this in, in a full go. This is what it is. I know I can do better. I know I've learned so much from also leading a project um, and leading a team and from my own pitch and, and working with everybody for the first time. This was our first start and we're only going to keep growing from here. You know what I mean? But um, I thought the ammo clips were bad in my own game that battery was huge <laughs> i know i kind of just made them big for this game just so like people could see them because it is really fucking dark in this hospital um if anything i might make the battery smaller and make the lighting a bit brighter but i kind of liked how dark and spooky it was um but i definitely want to make i again i can make this better this is just what we had in our time easily um but this is kind of like where i'm at it's kind of like a like a little progress checkpoint, you know what I mean? How much I've learned over the, the past two years in my classes, how much we had in the time crunch, uh, beginning experiences leading a team uh, to make a full game. This is all very first, uh, try and first go. So, um, oh, you work with Caitlin? She's awesome. So, Michael, Michael, I wanted to tell you some, some, some. Um, so, Caitlin, is going to actually work with me on my next game pitch um, because my second game pitch got chosen um, again. <laughs> and, but the thing is her pitch also got chosen and she literally went like, yikes. She was just like, never mind. I love yours better. Um, <laughs> and so um, we basically are now in the next uh, game pitch, which I will explain at the end of my stream, just to keep y'all here, keep y'all Keep y'all coming back, you know, I mean, come back now, you're here. Um, so this was, this was my team. I'm very thankful uh, for my team and their consistency to be at each meeting um, for the most part and for bringing in um, new material and effort each week. It was such a labor of love, this game. Um, and this will always be like my first like little, like little demo, little, little game demo, baby child type deal. You know what I mean? So it's, it's very important to, to me. And then you've got, you know, obviously, the main menu and quit buttons quit we'll quit the game main menu will send you back back in and if you guys want to see the very quick little cinematic outros um i'll show you guys real quick this was the beginning cinematic by the way um that was you know you were supposed to see at the beginning besides rex playing the troll -lol -lol. um it's odds baby <laughs> i mean technically my child is bugsy but you know so you basically start on the gurney, you know, that's kind of like where you start. But where is, um, what I'm going to do is we're going to just run all the way to the end without collecting any notes. That's right. If you basically do this shit and you're like, you know what? Fuck notes. I don't give a fuck. Who needs notes in this society, in this economic climate? We don't need notes. Notes are for scrubs. Who needs to read? People are illiterate nowadays. We just need to fucking watch things visually and not have to read. 
reading is for squares. I'm just going to keep on this fucking, like, note rant until we get to the bottom. Reading is for nerds. We live in a society. What's up, Gavin? How you doing? Welcome in. Um, you know? So it's like, if you're just like, wow, this hospital is so dope, but, like, they want me to read? Who the fuck does that? Reading is dumb. <laughs> Maybe one day we can all group up to make a game. Even though I am okay at 3D modeling, I really want to do storytelling in games. Storytelling, um is my fucking bread and butter my dude like i am so down to work with you and collaborate on a project in the future i'd be fuck that would be dope that'd be dope time zones is the only thing that's i'm like fuck but you know other than that um i definitely want to work with like i feel like the dream team would be fucking sick with like michael andy caitlin and dane which dane was my programmer on on this game um and it was it was really fucking awesome to work with them um and, oh fucking hell nine months michael nine months that's a long fucking time to support my dumbass. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Okay, so you get to the end, right? You yeet all the way through the damn level. You're like, fuck notes. I don't want to know anything about the story. I just wanted the jump scares. You come to the end here. And you're like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. No sunset for you, motherfucker. You're getting sent back to your room to be tested on some more. Okay. So zero notes, uh, basically I think like zero to four notes, um, if you collect only that much, you get the worst ending, which is basically you get sent right back to your room. They continue operations testing on people and womp, womp, womp. Um, so you basically get sent back to the beginning. Sifu! Sifu, thank you so much for gifting a tier, a tier two sub? You gifted a tier, what? 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 Sifu, did you mean to do that? Holy shit. Ruth, not only do you get the emotes, but you also get the fucking tier two posh Audrey sub badge. And I think you get a uh, pog odd. Odd pog. I think you get that e emoji as well. <laughs> emotes, whatever. Oh my God. Holy shit. Um, oh yeah, thing I'm posting in your art channel. I can explain the story and it's something I really want to build on. Yo, share it with me, my dude. If you don't want to share it to the public, you can DM me as well. If you want to do like a private collaboration, that's fine as well. I don't mind either way. Because it's like, save your ideas until you're able to flesh them out like this. You know what I mean? Um, or at least with people that you're going to work the project on. It's hard to keep that secret, but it's so worth it in the end. But tier two, oh my God, Sifu. You did not need to do that. Well, Ruth enjoyed the tier two sub. And also in my Discord, if you're there, you get that fancy title as well uh ruth is hacking ruth is hacking um and i'm pretty sure she's proud <laughs> so um enjoy that and sifu thank you so much for gifting a tier two you are insane my dude um okay so that was the worst ending and then i've got one more um cinematic ending which by the way guys uh i wanted to tell you about cinematics really quick um cinematics used to be used in a different like inside plugin called matinee for this game, everything has changed. So I've had to basically relearn how to make cinematics within this, this game. So um, I did all the cinematics myself and um, I had to learn, it's now Sequencer for Unreal Engine. So it was a brand new thing that I had to learn on my own because they did not teach me in this school because it's still showing us matinee. Um, again, my school can only get you so far. A lot of it is very self-responsibility. Um, no, this is Unreal Engine, and actually I'll be making the next game in Unreal Engine as well, but it's going to be a 2D game instead of a 3D game, and I will be explaining more of the premise of what that game is going to be, um, at the end of the stream, but I will tell you guys this, it is heavily inspired by Franbo and Little Misfortune, so hopefully you'll be able to see something fucking wacky like that, uh, coming to, uh, this stream at the end of May, right before I move to San Francisco. Um, sequencer is fun, not too many changes. Wait until you get into the Niagara for particles. Bitch. <laughs> oh, bitch. Yay, more Swiss math. Exactly. Exactly, Athrix. I'm like, because I honestly was so heavily inspired playing that last week that I built, I basically was influenced by that. And then also Beardo Benjo played a game in the past um, from the Dread X collection, which is basically like indie develop developers posting their games in one big collection that's shown off every year. Um, and there was this one game called Submission that he played, and that inspired me to basically base the like story around, but the, the art style and theme is going to be similar to Fran Bow and uh, Little Misfortune. So enjoy 
that. Uh, my son does a lot of modeling for Unreal using Houdini. Ooh, Dabbler. I know, I saw your uh, your son's portfolio that you posted for us uh, last odd art review. That was fucking insane. Anyways, I'll show you guys real quick the, um, basically the, the bad ending. I showed you the good ending first where you escape and it's a beautiful sunset and you're able to basically bring down the operations of this awful hospital. The worst ending is basically like, ha, gotcha, bitch, and we get thrown back into your bed um, and they continue operations and testing on people. Um, let's see, let me just grab, I'm gonna now show you guys the bad ending, um, which I'm just gonna grab fucking uh, five notes. So five to 14 notes will give you bad ending. You will have to collect all 15 in order to get the good ending uh, where you escape, obviously. And there's my jump scare again. You love to see it. Anyway, I'm kind of just showing y'all like, not really like a full on, whoa, like immersive playthrough. It's more just like, I wanted to show you all the different things I have put into this game to make it the labor of love that it turned out to be. Um, and I, I am still proud of this game. It is, you know, your first child, right? You know, your first, you know, art piece or your first song or your first, you know, that report or whatever i don't care it's like your first will always be like you know a little little your little baby you know what i mean so i'm definitely you know um thankful for this experience and grateful for it because it's shown how much i've come so far on my own because i've been doing my entire degree online uh for the past two years um so it's you know it's kind of um cool to see at least my progress literally everything i've done so far and uh, I also had to be, you know, more in charge because I led my project uh, and my team. So it, it, it's been a fucking crazy adventure for sure. Uh, Real-time lighting and volumetric clouds. Kind of want to... Oh, I, I will see... Like, yo, um, Michael, if you want to show me Ash Street, show it for the next odd art review. Like, just do it when you're ready. You know what I mean? Um, uh, you don't have to do it just to, like, to, to do it today. You have time. I will be streaming. Like, I will still keep streaming. It, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, let me just grab another one just in case. You know, like six notes, you know? Got fucking six notes, you know? Maybe we'll grab one more at the end. Um, I can't imagine you being more in charge. <laughs> more in charge, bitch, bitch. I'm like, I put a stupid amount of work into into Locked In, Locked Out, um, and I'm very thankful for uh, being able to have the opportunity to do so because if you can do a lot of it on your own, you're just killing it. All right. You got seven notes, you're like, fuck it, I've got some of the story, I don't really care to read too much, but I was like, eh, maybe I'll dabble, he, dabbler, and, you know, get a little bit of that in my noggin, but let's just end the damn game. Then you get this ending, which is basically like, the door is locked, you're unable to escape, you'll have to figure out another way, or maybe you won't. So that's the bad ending, um, and then, again, all cinematic endings take you to the quit screen the credit screen again i'm just gonna really quick one more time bring up my amazing team that helped me build this game everybody was involved and did their part and i'm very appreciative of it so i'm giving them their their credit right now i don't know if uh caitlin i told caitlin i was going to be streaming this today and i also uh i told dane a while back but anyways this is my amazing team i couldn't have done it without them at least in the time that we had to this extent so i just wanted to give them props there so that guys uh was Locked in, locked out. Huh?